for four. Was wandering out to the middle of the pitch to have a chat with his mate, can't remember who it was. The throw came in and we appealed. And by the letter of the law, Desmond Haynes should have been given out, but he wasn't. So go on, you just tell me a little bit more what happened there with Desmond Haynes. Umpires just said dead ball. They were wrong to do so, but there are more boos here. <laughs> Enormous boos for MS Doney as he leads his team out. Which again is unfortunate, I think, because I'm not sure that people around the ground would have been aware. Sarcastic applause, you'd say, from England. I don't think that was uh, applause with a great deal of feeling. Well, as you said, he's got Messi. Not seen that sort of thing on a cricket field under the letter of the law. He's out and a resounding cheer for England as they come back out again. You know. Well, maybe the applause from England was genuine because what has clearly happened here, unbeknownst to us, is that uh, MS Dhoni has withdrawn his appeal, clearly. We're, we're not aware of this, we're just talking off the cuff. Nobody has told us what has happened, but we can only assume that the umpires went to the Indian dressing room, asked MS Dhoni to withdraw his appeal. And that's what he's done, so Ian Bell is coming out, so all the boos have been replaced by cheers. My own view is I think we've got the right decision. The umpires are, are not the... withdrawn his appeal so let's put it all to one side there's huge applause now Emma Stoney has gone from villain to hero in about five seconds the Indian team have all gone from villains to heroes two and two makes five we saw England <laughs> applauding on the balcony we thought it was sarcastic but yeah, it was very genuine go. it was genuine appeal from England and we can all crack on now Ian Bell resumes 137 not out